Welcome to the broadcast. Now, Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu has won round one of perhaps her biggest career-threatening battle after the anti-corruption court accepted the High Court order staying the case facing her until October the 9th. Now, Senior Magistrate Lawrence Mugambi, who received the amended High Court order, however, only stayed the DCJ matter while her co-accused Stanley Muluvi will be required to appear before the court on Tuesday next week to know his fate after the the director of public prosecution objected him being granted the same favor as Mwilu because he had not been explicitly enjoined in the Mwilu salt orders. Now the temporary reprieve came as details of her affidavit accusing President Uhuru Kenyatta of having a hand in her case were revealed as Duncan Hayemba reports. Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu's defense team has finally managed to rescue her from the Director of Public Prosecution's news, abruptly halting her prosecution from alleged abuse of office and corruption-related offenses. The anti-corruption court has accepted high court orders to stay the matter, at least for now. Her 34-man defense team successfully managed to wiggle her out of taking in what was a career-threatening plea on 13 counts leveled against her. In compliance with the said order, this Honorable Court gives the following directions that this proceeding shall now rest at the point at which they had reached, that the status quo shall be maintained in respect of any orders the court had made so far. Among other things, Mwilu is accused of forgery, tax evasion, and abuse of office in relation to commercial transactions with the collapsed Imperial Bank, a move the DPP has vehemently opposed. Experience to see the difficulties and the challenges prosecutors face in prosecuting high profile cases. And when we say that the cases are not moving, it's not because of us. It is our law, it is our constitution, which we must abide by. Lady Justice Mwilu obtained the orders after arguing that her being taken to court is part of a scheme by President Uhuru Kenyatta to avenge her vote for nullifying the 2017 August 8th presidential election. In an affidavit filed in court by the Okongo Morganian Company law firm, Mwilu is quoted as saying, immediately following the determination of the Supreme Court of Kenya, in the 1st September 2017, on the same day, none other than the President of the Republic of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, made public statements issuing both explicit and implicit threats against the majority of judges who decided the outcome of the presidential petition. The affidavit goes ahead to say, I verily believe to be true that the fact that charges brought to me, though fashioned as corruption and economic crimes, were in fact investigated and filed through the office of the Inspector General of Police, over whom the first respondent exercises constitutional powers of control and direction. Based on that principle, the prosecution against me cannot stand having been tainted by illegalities from the start. On Thursday, the Deputy Chief Justice reported for duty as usual as confirmed to KTN by Chief Registrar of the Judiciary, Anne Amadi, a confirmation that until October 9th, Philomena Mwilu continues business as usual. It is a huge sigh of relief for the Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu after her team of 34 advocates successfully rescued her from the DPP's news. For now, she remains afloat. But for how long will this last or will she still be dragged before the legal gallows? Duncan Hemba, KTN News.